I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm just, what's your name? My name is Marie. Marie, where are you and from? I'm from Florida, United States. Florida. Mm -hmm. Must be ice cold for you here, no? No, no. I grew up north in, in the United States, so I, even though I live living? in Florida, I'm used to it. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you said the first time here now? First time here. And how was the experience now? Well, we arrived uh, Tuesday, mm -hmm. so I'm loving every moment of it. Mm -hmm. um, already planning a trip back, and mm -hmm. I'd like to bring family. So it's amazing. Um, we weren't able okay. to get up to Apparition Hill today because of the weather. Yeah. But we were going to try again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what do you take home from Medjugorje now? Just peace and, and trying to bring that with you. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's just such a, a spiritual place. Mm -hmm. And people are so kind. Last night uh, we got stuck out at a pizza place. Mm -hmm. with, uh, some of the people I'm with and the sky opened up and it was lightning and it was thundering. And the lady that worked there just left her place open and drove us home, insisted on driving us back to where we were going, which mm. was amazing. Where we do that in the West, no, in Europe or United States, you don't find these kinds mm. of actions no. anymore, no? no? Maybe before we did 80s last century? Probably, yeah, probably before. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, you might get it, I guess. But here it just seems like everybody is so helpful and so kind. It is like yes. that, and if you are seeing it. Yes. And um, you have always been Catholic in your life? Yes. Never yes. went away, just, uh, just, how do you say, somewhere in the world? I'm, no, I'm always, I'm always Catholic. Uh -huh. I'm always Catholic. Why? What is so beautiful for you about your faith? Um, I, I would say I, 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 I'm more Catholic now than maybe when I was you know, a teenager. Mm -hmm. but, um, but I've always been Catholic. I've always Why? continued. I don't know. There's just that, there's something, there's that pull. There's that, that, that longing. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just important, you know, it's important for me, it's important for my family. Mm -hmm. so. And what is the beauty about the faith for you, especially? I don't know if I can describe it. Um, it it's just, it's so tactile. I mean, being Catholic is, it's, it's not just going to tur into church, it's going into church and there's often incense and, I mean, there's just so much to it. Yes, um, the liturgy for yes, example. Yeah? Yes, So You also go to Latin Masses? I have gone before to Latin Mass. They've made it a little bit harder to go these mm -hmm. days. So Before, did you like it when you went? Uh, um, how would you describe the Latin Masses? They, I mean, they're, it, they're just, I, I, I don't have a word. They're cla it's classic. Yeah. Um, I, I vaguely remember it from when I was very young, very mm -hmm. young, not understanding what they were saying. Mm -hmm. I would say I don't go to Latin Mass often, even when offered, mm -hmm. just because it, Always, I go with my family, I mm -hmm. go with my husband, and we tend to just go to a, a regular, regular mass. mass. But I have gone to Latin masses mm -hmm. You before. liked it? I did like it. Mm -hmm. I did, yes. And you know, in, uh, in Medjugorje, confession is very important. Yes. What would you tell people who are scared to go to confession? Maybe 20, 30 years happens here, people come and they, they want to go there, but they are scared. It just lightens you up. It just frees you. Um, go, go, and y you'll just feel wonderful afterwards. So true. Yep. Huh? Mm -hmm. And the rosary prayer for you? Yes. Um, well, I, I do say my rosary. I say my rosary all the time at home, too. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and when my husband, my husband was in the military, and mm -hmm. when he was in Iraq, I actually said four rosaries a day. For him, and he came safe back? Yes, he did. He That's did. the power of the rosary. Yes, man. he did. That's it, what Pater Pio says, the weapon of our times, yes. the rosary. Mm -hmm. you know? yep. And do um, you have a favorite spot so far in Medjugorje? Um, well, I, I love the church. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't yet gotten up to Cross Mountain, and mm -hmm. I haven't made it all up, up to Apparition Hill. Mm -hmm. But um, just the whole area is so peaceful, and it's beautiful, and the people are just so kind. Mm -hmm. but, and did you make the experience that through suffering you came closer to God? It's a contradiction. No, I mean, if you, I guess, if you look at it the right way, mm -hmm. and and you know, Jesus suffered for us, mm -hmm. and we're given a part of that, mm -hmm. and if we can do it well and offer it up, I think, mm -hmm. I think you do become closer to God. Mm -hmm. You pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet as well? I do, I do. What is so special about the Divine Mercy Chaplet? I'm not sure I can describe it. It's, it's just, it's, a, it's peaceful. It's um, yeah, yeah I, I haven't yet been to the chapel in Massachusetts and Stockbridge, although I grew up in Mass, but in another part, and I do mm -hmm. visit it sometimes, so I'd mm -hmm. like to get up there sometimes, but yes, I do pray. I, I pray, not always at three o'clock, but I do pray during the day, mm -hmm. yes. And what would you tell people, you have this peaceful, shining eyes, 
We all look for it, but there are a lot of people who are sad. They look for this peace and these shining eyes. What would you give them as an advice? Well, I, I, I think if the closer you become to 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 God, the, the, or the more you, you aim for that, you just it pulls you away a bit from what the world thinks is important. And mm -hmm. um, I, I, I think that just all kind of plays into it. But and you know, our Catholic faith is about a personal relationship, yes. yeah? I see you have that relationship. Mm -hmm. What would you tell people, you know, people in the world, once they said to me, Tom, you hear voices, maybe mm -hmm. you should go to a psychologue. But what would you tell them? How can you hear the Holy Spirit? How can you have that personal relationship with God? Well, I, I, I think it, it's all part of praying the rosary, praying the chaplet, um, reading the Bible, reading reading the Psalms and the, and the different readings. Um, sometimes I just open up the Bible and just see what I, my finger lands on for yeah. that day. Um, and it, it speaks to me that way. It's, yeah, that's a beautiful way mm -hmm. to take. And you got a, a favorite Bible verse you like a lot? Um, I, I've always liked the ones where, um, and I, I can't quote them, but um, basically when you're saved by your faith. When you're saved by but, your faith. Yes. No? Mm -hmm. And um, are you married? I am. He's not, my husband's not here. He's working. But what would you tell people, young people, they want to find the right partner, what would you give them as an advice now out of your experience, the years you were married? What is um, the secret? Well, it's communication and um, having similar goals, um, you know, shared goals. Um, he's also Catholic, mm -hmm. you know, also born Catholic, and we, we actually grew up in the same area. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, you just talk to each other and work through it. and and um, communicate. Communicate, yes. no, com honest, com authentic yes. communication. Yes. No? Mm -hmm. And they asked that, I, I found the videos on YouTube, I think it's very beautiful. Now with your experience, what would you tell your younger version who's maybe 18 now? What, oh, would, you tell, what would you tell? Don't waste time. Um, don't waste time? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, I, I knew about Medjugorje a while ago. Yeah. I wasn't, I didn't really have the opportunity to go until this time and it kind of just fell in my lap and my husband knew he couldn't go but he kept saying just go just go mm -hmm. and um i kind of hemmed it hard for a little while you know because i'd be just going without him and i decided to do it and it's been beautiful okay. yes and um, what would you tell people why come to medjugorje one time um it's kind it's kind of like stepping back in time uh, a little <laughs> bit it's you know it's it's a very peaceful place um it's a very simple humble place uh, I'm sure it's changed a lot over the years, but it's definitely a quiet place. Mm -hmm. um, and people are just wonderful here, and I would definitely come back. Yeah? Yes. And when you heard the first time about Medjugorje, about the story, the six visionaries, the children, did you believe it straight away, or how was your reaction to it? To no, I did, I did. I started reading about it years ago. Yeah? Yes. Um, in the, well, when I heard about it, it was probably... The early 2000s mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. uh late 90s or early 2000s and that's when i started learning about it mm -hmm. um my kids were young men mm -hmm. I, I just didn't feel like i could go anywhere at that point um but but yeah that's why i, I just always knew i wanted to get here someday yeah. and i actually and when ivan would speak in boston i actually did go hear him uh -huh. in the boston area a couple times i uh -huh. brought my kids once so cool mm -hmm. and at the end the last question you know we in the catholic faith we love saints yes you have a favorite one? Um, I, I probably have a few, but uh -huh. um, for this trip, yeah. it, St. James. By that? He's a pilgrim. He's, he's, a, a, he's a saint of pilgrims. I'm, I'm a pilgrim here. Yeah. So, yes. You can relate to that. I can relate to that here. Yeah. Yes. What can I say? Thank you for that beautiful interview. Sure. Thank you.